NICE stands for the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence. They develop evidence-based guidelines on which treatment options should be offered within the NHS. The 2009 version of their guidelines on how to treat low back pain recommended a course of acupuncture as a safe, effective and cost-effective treatment option. Since the 2009 guidelines were published, there's even more evidence for acupuncture's effectiveness in treating low back pain. But even though acupuncture has been offered on the NHS since 2009 and successfully and safely treated patients with low back pain, in the 2016 update to the guidelines, NICE has decided to recommend against offering acupuncture. The evidence demonstrates that acupuncture is effective for low back pain. A very large study from Germany conducted using over 300 outpatient facilities found that compared to 10 hour-long treatments with an attentive doctor who provided physiotherapy and pain medication, acupuncture was nearly twice as effective at reducing pain. A 2015 network meta-analysis looked at 20 common treatments for sciatica in a head-to-head -head comparison to see how they stacked up. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories ranked 8 out of 20 treatments. Prescribed opioids, which are the number one cause of injury-related death in the United States, killing more than 16,000 people every year, which is more than are killed in car accidents, ranked 16 out of 20 for pain relief. Exercise therapy came in 17th place. When ranked head-to-head -head for pain relief, acupuncture was the second most effective treatment out of all the treatments that were looked at for sciatica. The updated NICE guidelines for low back pain recommend NSAIDs, opioids and exercise, but they don't recommend acupuncture. Radio frequency denervation is a procedure where nerves in the lower back are severed using radiation to reduce sensation. In 2015, a systematic review constituting the highest level of evidence was published by the Cochrane Collaboration. The authors concluded that there was no convincing evidence that RFD improves pain or function in people with low back pain and that the procedure carries significant risks. And in the head-to-head -head ranking for treatments for sciatica, RFD came in last. The 2009 NICE guidelines recommended against RFD and there has been no new evidence on RFD's effect on pain published since then. But the updated NICE guidelines recommend radiofrequency denervation for low back pain. There is a wealth of evidence that demonstrates that for low back pain, acupuncture is better than a sham and much better than what's usually on offer. A 2013 systematic review did a head-to-head -head comparison of acupuncture versus NSAIDs for low back pain. They found that acupuncture was more effective for pain reduction than the drugs. Which is a good thing, because taking NSAIDs carries serious risks. Long-term use of NSAIDs is associated with an increased risk of GI bleeds, cardiovascular disease and heart attacks, and increased risk of mortality. Complications and injuries from NSAID use cost the NHS 300 million pounds a year, and they kill 2,000 people in the UK alone every year. Multiple studies have shown that back pain patients who receive acupuncture are able to greatly reduce the amount of painkillers they need to take. In addition to the 2009 NICE guidelines, healthcare guidelines on the treatment of low back pain from all around the world recommend acupuncture. In the United States, an agency called the AHRQ creates evidence-based national clinical guidelines. Earlier this year, they released a guideline on the treatment of low back pain, and they found that acupuncture was more effective than sham and much more effective than usual care. The AHRQ and many other organizations around the world recommend acupuncture in their back pain guidelines, including the United States, Canada, Scotland, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand. The NICE guideline committee on low back pain said that they didn't recommend acupuncture because its effectiveness over sham acupuncture, while statistically significant, was too small. Acupuncture was the only treatment that NICE evaluated in this manner, even though guidelines are supposed to evaluate treatments in a consistent manner, and even though healthcare policymakers agree that comparisons to sham have no relevance for doctors or their patients. Clinically, doctors and patients rely on studies that compare treatments to what else is available. NICE didn't explain 
why acupuncture was held to a different set of criteria from every other treatment that they evaluated. Some treatments recommended by the NICE committee, like counseling, had no evidence of effectiveness at all. Their data showed it was not better than sham or usual care, but NICE recommended it anyways as part of a package of care. So NICE is suggesting that GPs refer patients with low back pain for counseling, even though there's no evidence that this helps, and in many areas of the UK, wait lists for therapists are many months long. In the draft version of the guidelines published this past March, NICE recommended exercise because it outperformed sham exercise. When stakeholders pointed out that there was a typo in the NICE data and that exercise was actually no better than sham, they threw out the study and recommended exercise anyway. Compared to usual care, acupuncture resulted in greater pain reduction than any non-drug treatment recommended. This is a graph of NICE's results using their own data comparing acupuncture to all of the non-pharmaceutical treatments that they recommended compared to usual care. Acupuncture had greater pain reduction compared to usual care than any of the treatments that they recommended. The NICE committee recommended against the most effective non-drug treatment that they evaluated. The NICE guidelines for low back pain are biased and sloppy. They're hard on doctors and they are bad for patients. It's wrong on the evidence and wrong on the ethics. Acupuncture works.